We all love a look into the future and in London this week, Intel offered us a glance into what the future could hold for us when it came to crime, gaming, videos, shopping and driving. Here's our round of all the amazing next-gen tech to come out from Intel. Let's start with crime. If you've been unlucky enough to have your laptop stolen, you'll know it's a gut-wrenching feeling, but you can now send your prized lappy a poison pill that'll render it unusable to the wretch that stole it. A couple of clicks on your phone sends a signal remotely to the laptop and locks it within 15 minutes. The only way back in is by the passcode. On now to wireless displays and we've seen similar tech to this on the Wii with 360 videos but Intel is hoping to take it a step further as this quick demo shows. Today we're just showing the improvements we can make with this technology just by using everything that can be included in a smartphone like the GPS or the sensor, captors, etc. So I'm just going to launch here, you see this screen gets replicated on the other screen. I'm just going to launch a 360 degrees London videos. And basically what you can do, you can just move the smartphone. Just by moving the smartphone, you can navigate in London through these 360 degrees videos. You can look at the London sky. You can just follow the bus, for example. You can look what's happening behind you. So you really are the one who is doing the video you want to do. Microsoft's Kinect brought gesture gaming to the masses and now Intel are hoping to bring depth to the game. The perceptual computing is about making the communication with computer natural, intuitive and immersive. So how natural is it for you to create a solar system and after that start rotating it, make it larger, smaller. This is a hand model of my hand. I can reach in, start playing with points, can interact with it. So this is a virtual pet example, where now I can interact with him, so I can, for example, can throw him a paper airplane and depending on his mood and his personality, he's gonna do completely different actions every single time. Lastly, this game originally was designed for keyboard and mouse, and now by using just a hand, I can replace both keyboard and mouse and make the interaction much more natural. From gaming to drive-in, and will it be possible for us to see through the rain in the future? In this demo, we're showing the concept that we're doing to build a headlight that can see through rain. And by that, we mean we have a prototype here that allows you to project light through the rain so that those annoying streaks that you see when it, in a heavy rainfall don't distract you from the road. So the way the headlight works is we turn on the projector style headlight and what it does is it uses a beam splitter to capture the image of the raindrops as they're falling through the headlight beam. And we share that information with the processor where it quickly calculates the path of the rain through the headlight beam. And we share that with the projector and we black out the individual spots in the headlight beam where we expect the raindrop to be. Finally, shopping and this nifty concept from DAAS that allows you to play any form of content across multiple screen of any size and any shape. We caught up with one of the researchers of the project for more. The displays, whenever they are started, connect to the other computer and tell them where they are located. And those are not combined yet, I just started it, but with a small gesture, when I tap this one and fuse them together, they are um, realigned as a new virtual display. Now a special video stream gets generated for this new display, that's why it takes a second the first time. Now I didn't do the gesture perfectly, so it's slightly misaligned. It's always just as good as the person <laughs> using it. So I can also interact on each of these devices. I'm not limited to two, I can use any amount. Uh, they don't have to be the same, they can be different sizes, different operating systems, different resolutions. I can rotate them arbitrarily and realign it 
and just use them to give us larger bits per area. I can also leave gaps, so this doesn't have to be a continuous wall, it can be with some empty spaces in between. And it just works together as one larger display. If you want to see more on feature technology and all the latest tech news, reviews and features, head to t3.com.